Howdy, idiots. Welcome back to the Ed Show. It's May 2 for a weekend. I got Fort Mac with me. We're going to meet up with some friends. We're going to go out in the bush. We're going to spend the night in some hammocks. It's going to be a good time. It's the first time for us. We have done it at a cabin before, but never out into the bush. So it'll be interesting to see if we brought the right stuff and if we should have brought more stuff. Who knows? I think we're good. <laughs> All right, met up with everybody and now we're heading out. Who's over there? Jess, Amy, Adam, Carmack, Luke from uh, <laughs> Rush Creek Survival is going to be joining us later on. This is where we're out walking right now. We're about uh, halfway to our spot. Oh, and that's Oz right there. All right, this may be the camp for the evening, we're deciding. Nice clear area, bunch of trees. There's Amy doing something over there. Poor Mac, Adam, there's Oz. Jess. Someone built a lean-to over there. That's uh, Luke's lean-to. Hi, <laughs> Jess. All right, we're setting up camp. There's Amy's hammock. They're setting up uh, Jess's right now. Mine's already set up. I'll explain that in a little bit. Fort Max over here, hanging up her bag. Her hammock's gonna be over the ravine there. And then we got this huge glam hammocking hammock tent set up thing here that Adam's gonna be staying in. He's in there hiding inside. What up, though? Doesn't matter what weather's gonna come, he's protected. Shit. There's my uh, makeshift hammock setup. Um, my tarp should be a little lower. I wish it was a little bigger, but I don't think it's gonna rain, but it'll still protect me. My hammock is inside there, believe it or not. Got these uh, straps, hold uh, 400 pounds each. And then, my hammock's inside of my sleeping bag. This is uh, a makeshift underquilt to protect me from the moisture and the cool air at nighttime so my butt and back doesn't get really cold. All it is, I got these little clips here from the dollar store and attach it to my straps with via bungee cord. Works out pretty good. Um, an underquilt, you're looking at about 100 bucks or more. But this will do for now until I actually get one. But yeah, these clips, dollar store, I think it's three bucks for four of them. And they hold pretty solid. I know, I have no service. Digging out a little uh, fire pit, using the dirt from the pit around the side so protected so everything doesn't catch on fire. Digging the fire pit. We found some dinner. Snacks. Delicious. Aww. Even got a hammock here for Oz. <laughs> Trying to get him used to it there so he can goes. sleep in it tonight. Good boy. <laughs> oh no. Had enough of that. <laughs> Poor guy. Get out of here. Pray for text. We ended up getting some MREs here. Should have did a video, but what you do is you take your MRE pouch and it comes with a, a heater in there. You can see a bubble in there. You add a little bit of water, let it sit for 15 minutes, and it's actually pretty good because you don't need boiling water. I think you can just use any kind of water. And the pad in there heats up your food. 
You can kind of see it bubbling a little bit. There it is. There's bubbling. 15 minutes. Our dinner will be done. Also came with some uh, dried fruit. Oh, this is nut raisin mix. Uh, orange flavored drink. Some cookies and some crackers. And there's Chef Adam right there. Opening up his meal. Cheesy sausage lasagna. Perfect. Luke from Rush Creek Survival has finally showed up. He just has to set up. He showed up after the, all the hard work was done. Gathered all that wood and everything. The hell of a setup. The hell of a setup. I'm sad that it took you so long to get here, quite frankly. Because we're closer to the road than we are in my pack. The Canadian koala bear. Yeah. The Canadian koala bear. Yeah, the Jess has found a wishbone. Well, Let's see. <laughs> the Jessica's. Or Jess. Whatever. One of them. The one in the red. <laughs> <laughs> so one. Are you ready? Let's see whose wish comes true. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. One, one, two, three, pull. Two, three. <laughs> oh! That doesn't count, baby, because that already came true. Oh, there you go. You're so true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here's Luke from Rush Creek Survival. He's gonna restart our fire. Restart our fire. You gotta like those the best ones. It takes the yeah. work out of it quite frankly. Especially if you got drier temperatures, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hear there's a little bit of rain shot this morning, which I kind of thought there would be a little bit more dampness, but it barely made anything damp in here with the feels of it. Silver birch. Yeah, just toss that on, it'll smoke a little bit. Once it catches, it'll go pretty good. And, uh, We'll give that a little blow and it should just come to life and throw a little bit more this on here. Watch the beard. Watch the beard indeed. Yeah, it doesn't help when everything's damp in the ravine, eh? No, that's it too. Oh, well, we got the ravine, what? I don't know. 60 yards, maybe 70 yards away. Yeah. Down behind Amy over there. Yeah. Oh, and Adam's over there too. Can you see him in the dark? There he is. He's waving. Yeah, there's Adam. Oh, there's Adam. Yeah, 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 Give that another little blow to get her going. Yeah, put small stuff on top and then. Well, how'd that, how'd that go with filling up that uh, life straw, right? It's alright too, okay? Yeah. Down there you probably can't see it, but there's a creek down there. And Jess has a life straw bottle that she filled up. Tasty. Yeah. What's it taste like, Jess? Clean fresh water. Yeah, uh, let me see. Let me give her a swig. See if you can get how dirty <coughs> the water is on the inside. It's a little cloudy. Yeah. Trying to. Oh yeah, you can see stuff floating in there yeah. a little bit. Can't be any worse than the mermaid earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got stuck on it too, yeah. like it's extra yeah, strong. Yeah, stuck it through the filter. Has a little bit of a taste to it, but Not it's really clean really water nice. though. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. Fresh water anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Adam Jones, performing <laughs> Copperhead Road.
Well, my name's John Lee Pettermore. Same my daddy and his daddy were four. Holly ever saw granddaddy down here. Only going to town about twice a year. Buy a hundred pound yeast and some copper lime. Everybody knew that he made moonshine. Well, the revenue man on the granddaddy bed, had a little holler and everything. And old man times, well, I've been told, he'd never come back from Copper Road. See you right now. The fire died down. <laughs> this under quilt that I jerry rigged under my hammock last night made a huge difference. I recommend it for anybody that's new to hammocking or does not want to spend the money on one. I had no cool air or moisture on my back or bottom. I was warm last night. It made a huge difference from the last time I was in my hammock. Well, idiots. This adventure's over. Got a thunderstorm rolling in, so we're going to play it safe and hit the trail and get out of here. But we'll be back for more adventures, don't you worry. Peace out. Have a good one.